Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Yo with Storybook Yoga Balanced Minds and Bodies. And today we're going to do a yoga story to this awesome book, Diary of a Pug, Pause for a Cause. And I am taping this in my new yoga studio, so I'm excited that you get to see it. Today's going to be a little different with the book, as I'll read some of it and then we'll do yoga with it. It has a lot of pictures and it has chapters. It's a chapter book, so I'm going to show you how it starts off. So it has a table of contents and that is where all of the chapters are listed. And chapters in a book are different parts of the book. And this book is kind of like a graphic novel. What that means is that there are a lot of pictures and the characters are talking to each other. So let me show you a few pages up close because you won't be able to see them when I'm back on the mat. But there is some text, but then there's a lot of speech bubbles. All right, my friends, I think you're really gonna enjoy this story and we're gonna have fun with yoga. So I'm gonna come back on my mat and we're gonna get ready by sitting in crisscross, which is sit pose. We're going to put our hands on our knees and then I'd like for you to roll your shoulders back. Sit up nice and straight and bring your hands to heart center. I'm going to say three magical words, then we'll count to three, and we'll say namaste. And I'm going to close my eyes. It helps me focus and get ready for yoga. Here we go. One, two, three, namaste. So for our story, I will be reading parts of the book and then we'll be stopping and doing yoga. So while I'm reading, you can sit in crisscross, which is sit pose, or if you'd like to sit in hero pose, you can do that as well, which is sitting on low knees. That's hero pose. Let's get started. Diary of a Pug, Pause for a Cause, written by the author, who is not me, I did not write this book, but actually her picture Kyla May is in the back of the book. So let me show you really quick. And if you have a chance to look at this book, it shows her and it shows a pug. I wonder if that's her inspiration for all of the books. And then that is her daughter. So Kyla May wrote the story and also did the illustration. So she's an author and an illustrator. Okay, friends, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Chapter one, pause made for walking. So Bub is writing in his diary. A diary is like a notebook where you put your thoughts and you write them down or you can draw pictures. Monday, dear diary, Baron Von Bubbles here, but everyone calls me Bub. Things have been pretty quiet lately. Today was another story, but first here are some things to know about me. I always dress to impress. Some people say I'm the cutest pug on the planet. So a pug is a type of dog. So we're gonna show downward dog for our bub pose because he's the cutest pug on the planet. So let's go ahead and put our hands and knees down. And remember when we're doing yoga, if anything starts to feel too stretchy or it hurts, please stop. You can always bend your knees a little bit to help. But for downward dog, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna curl our toes, push back, and keep your head in between your arms. Head should be off the mat. So this is our downward dog, our bub pose. We're gonna go ahead and do a little arf, 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 arf. Let me hear your arf, arf, arf. And then we can show three-legged dog. For three-legged dog, we lift up one leg, put that down, lift up the other leg, Excellent, you just showed three yoga poses. Now we're gonna come back down into table and then we're gonna go ahead down to hero pose. So what else are we gonna learn about Bub? Some of his favorite things, his bear, peanut butter treats, his best friend Luna, even though Luna loves water because water is not Bub's favorite. Bella, who is Bub's favorite human best friend, she laughed very hard the first time that he jumped into a bubble bath because he had no idea there was water under the bubbles. That's how he got his name. From the bubble bath, they started calling him Bub. 
Now he's okay with bats, rain, and snow, and butt kisses, yuck. No one is allowed to give Bub any of those. So we're gonna go ahead and show a bubble blowing pose, which can be really nice if you ever need to just relax all those bubbles. So we're gonna put our hands by our mouth. Go ahead and close your mouth and breathe in through your nose. Now let the air out of your mouth slowly. We blew up a big bubble and it's floating. And when I count to three, we're gonna clap our hands together and pop it. And you can say pop. One, two, three, pop. All right, nice job, friends. So we're gonna go ahead with the story. So Bob was adopted by Bella. That means that they went to a shelter where there are animals who are waiting to be adopted. Well, Bob is still writing in his diary and says, you won't believe what happened. What Bella and I found on our walk today, it was a lost kitten. Bella said, poor baby, she's so cold, she's shaking. Who left you all alone? And the cat said, meow, meow. So now we're gonna show our cat pose. So for cat pose, go ahead down on your hands and knees again. And this time we're gonna take our head and we're gonna bring it down and we're gonna look through our legs, bring in our belly and arch or curve our back. And this is our cat pose, meow. Go ahead and make a cat noise, meow. Now bring your belly back down so you're in table, so you have a flat back. And then I want you to go back into cat pose so you can feel the difference. So now we're gonna arch our back. Good job, friends. So they find this cute little kitten and they pick it up and bring it home. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stand up slowly and then we're gonna do a scoop up pose where we come down, arms are open wide and we scoop up the kitten and we bring it in and very gently we give the kitten a hug. So they bring the kitten home and they give the kitten some food they bring it back to their house. So let's show our house pose. For house pose, we bring our legs shoulder width apart. We have our arms all the way up and we have our house. Well, they learn from Bella's mom that they're not gonna be able to keep the kitten. That the kitten is gonna have to go to the shelter the next day. So they're feeling a little sad about it. So come down. Sometimes when we feel sad, we hug our knees and it feels good to squeeze. Well, they are feeling sad because they know when they wake up the next day, they'll be going to the animal shelter. So when they go to sleep that night, they lay down in their bed. Now I'm gonna show you bed pose and then we'll go ahead and lay down like we're in the bed. But for bed pose, we're gonna go ahead and put our feet down, our hands down, but our stomach is gonna come up. And it might remind you of crab pose, but we're not gonna walk and move. So go ahead, one, two, three, bring up your stomach, bring your head back gently. And this is our bed pose. And then you can bring it back down gently, legs come all the way down, and we're gonna lay down. So that night they all went to sleep in the bed together. It was Bella, Bub, and the kitty. And that night the kitty gave Bub a kitty kiss. Bob's heart melted, even though he did not like wet kisses, he was starting to really like his kitty. All right, friends, we're gonna go ahead and bring our legs up. This is candlestick pose. And then I'm gonna teach you how to use your body to get yourself up by using your stomach muscles, which are also called your core. So you're gonna rock yourself up and try to come all the way up. Good job. So another pose that we can stand and rest in is a mountain pose. So we can stand in this mountain pose as I read a little bit more of the story. Let's see who can stay as still as possible. Well, the next day they go ahead and they take Bub to the shelter. Well, when they go to the shelter, it looks a little bit different than they imagined. So 
they start by going through the door. So we're going to show our door pose. So for door pose, we're going to come down on high knees. And then we're going to take one leg out, bring up this arm, and we're going to open the door. Excellent. Then go back into the center. And now we're going to close the door behind us. So we're going to put this arm out, rest it on this leg, bring this arm up, close the door. Excellent. So they go into the shelter and it is not what they imagined. It was very loud and there was a lot of animal noises going on. Well, Bub said, I don't think Kitty likes it here. And Bella said, you're okay, Kitty. It's different here, isn't it? The kitten was afraid, so they let Bella hold the kitten while they walked around. They asked a lot of questions. They had brought their good friend Jack along. So they were wondering if they check on the animals at night, where they will sleep. And then they went and looked at the play area. But it was very sad looking. There were no toys. How come they don't have any toys? Bella asked. Well, the worker at the shelter said, we can't afford toys. All of our money comes from donations. We use the donations to pay for food and medicine. There isn't much money left for toys. <coughs> so you see, a lot of the animals are bored and they're not playing because they don't have toys. Well, Bob did the nicest thing. He decided to give the kitty his toy. So we're gonna stand up. So Bub takes his toy. We're gonna come all the way down and pick up the toy. And he gives it to the kitty, even though it's his favorite. So the kitty will have something to play with. So they leave the shelter and they're feeling a little sad that none of the animals have toys to play with and they had to say goodbye to kitty. Well, let's read some more of the book and see what happens next. When we were almost home, Luna spotted a sprinkler. Remember, Luna is Bub's best friend, and Luna also belongs to Jack, which is Bella's friend. You know there is no stopping Luna when she sees water. So we're going to show a sprinkler. This is a fun pose. For our sprinkler pose, we're going to put our legs wide and we're going to have our arms out and we're going to show the sprinkler going from one foot to the other to the other. Sprinkler sometimes can go around and swirl or they can come straight down all the way down if you need to bend your knees a little bit. Then come all the way back up and then down again and then up. Well Luna was so excited she loved water so we're going to show downward dog pose again. So go ahead into table and then curl your toes, push back. And Luna was excited and ran right into the water and got all wet. Wow. Bub was not liking that Luna was getting water everywhere. So then they all ended up getting muddy because Luna got everything wet. And they had to go home and Bella gave Bub a bath. Mom said, that's a great bath you gave Bub. I gave Bella an idea how they could raise money to buy toys for the shelter. So now we're on chapter four, pause for a cause. And this is Bub writing in his diary. Dear diary, it is never good news for me when Bella wakes me up early. It usually means work, work, and more work. Come on, sleepyhead, we need to go tell Jack and Luna about my plan. It was so early that they weren't even up. They had to wait outside of their house. So they waited outside of their house and they were standing there. So we're gonna go ahead and stand in standing a mountain pose while the sun was coming out. So we're gonna show a sun pose and then we're gonna bring our legs a little bit apart. And sometimes we think of the sun as it's round when we see it in the sky. Go ahead, switch, go back the other way. Sometimes the sun has sun rays that come down. 
Well, they waited patiently, and finally, Jack and Luna came out, and they were excited to tell them the plan. So let's go ahead and to low knees so we can hear about this plan. Well, Bella decided that they should have a pet wash on Saturday where they could wash different pets and raise money. Bob didn't like the idea of this because it involved a lot of water. Remember, that's not Bob's favorite, even though Luna loves water. So, they had to get the supplies for the pet wash and they needed to get a hose, a water hose. So we're gonna go ahead and be a water hose. We're gonna come down on our stomachs, bring your arms out all the way along, stretching out your body and you are a long water hose. Now when the water is turned on and it goes through the hose, it moves a little bit. Sometimes it reminds people of a snake. So go ahead and move the hose a little bit and then the water sprays out. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna show a cobra pose. So put your hands on the mat. Come up straight so the water sprays out of the hose and then of course they direct it to wherever they need to. So they're preparing for the pet wash. Well then they need to get a big swimming pool. So they borrow Luna's swimming pool and it's gigantic. So we're gonna sit on our bottoms, we're gonna open up our legs wide and they get the biggest swimming pool. They put all their supplies inside and they're ready to have the pet wash. That night they get a good rest and they wake up the next day excited to raise money so that they can buy toys for the shelter. They also made sure to get some peanut butter treats because they wanted to reward the animals for doing a nice job during their wash. So they made signs and they had to write on the signs and Bob was so excited he got his paws in the paint. So we're going to show how they worked on the signs. We're going to go ahead and we're going to come down and they were painting and they were drawing and writing and then poor Bob got stuck in the paint and he ended up getting paw prints all over it. So we'll pretend that our hands are the paw prints. We're gonna come down, this is kind of like a frog, and we're gonna make prints on our poster for the pet wash. And it says, pause for a cause. All right, go ahead into hero pose, which is low knees. So the next day, they decide to do a practice before they actually have their pet wash. Well, they need to practice with Luna and Bub. Well, Bub runs and hides, but Luna is ready. She's so excited. So Luna gets into the pool. It's an inflatable pool and is so excited. So we're gonna go ahead and show our downward dog pose a lot. We're gonna show it again now. Table, curl your toes, push back. So Luna gets in the tub and is so excited. Arf, 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 arf. Pop. Luna pops the pool. It's an inflatable pool. And they don't have a pool anymore because Luna was so excited. Then the water went everywhere. It went spraying all around and it even got bub. So we're gonna show the water spraying out. We're first gonna come down. So come to a spot where you can walk your hands down. Come all the way up. Now you're in the plank. Hold your plank. Come down all the way. Then put your arms up like this and your hands. And you're gonna pretend to spray the water out. You can make whatever kind of noise you would like. Shh. Shh. Well, they have to come up with another plan because their pool isn't going to work. So they start thinking and 
they have to keep an eye out for a character. He's in all of the Diary of a Pug books. His name is Nuts, and he is the squirrel. So let's go into our squirrel pose. So bring your hands on, because Nuts likes to take all of the treats. He loves peanut butter so much. So he's thinking about how he can take the treats when they have them out for the animals who are getting their pet washes. All right, we're gonna go ahead and stand up. Nice, tall, straight standing mountain. So the next day is the day. It's the pet wash day. And the first customer comes, but the customer brought an entire litter of puppies. Well, they were not sure about bathing the puppies. They tried, but the puppies were running all over the place. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna show a big basket of puppies. So get your cute puppy face ready, but first we'll show a big basket. Round out your shoulders. And then in the basket, we're gonna come down to low knees. We're the cutest little puppies. So get your little puppy face. And they were so cute and they were licking. But they were not used to getting baths because they were puppies. So when they got in, the puppies went crazy. And they were all around. So go ahead into crouch and they went ended up rolling around in mud. Now this is going to be fun. We get to do rolling. So first we're going to do a happy baby pose because that is a good one for pretending that we're rolling around in mud. So we go ahead and we grab our ankles and then we're actually going to roll our bodies. So you can roll whichever way you would like. You can roll with your legs straight out where you just roll like this. Or if you want to put your arms out and roll like this, wherever you have space. But rolling can feel really good. Just protect your face. So the animals, the puppies, end up getting super muddy. And their owner comes to get them, and they're a mess. Well, in the meantime, Bob heard a noise. He knew he had to protect those peanut butter treats because all of a sudden, Nuts was ready to swing down from the tree. So we're going to go ahead and show tree pose because he was hiding in the tree. So for tree pose, you're going to take your heel, which is the back part of your foot, slide it over on top of your other foot. You can leave your tree like this. You can open up your branches or you can challenge yourself to bring up your leg. Even if you lose your balance for tree pose, it's okay. Just trying it is amazing. Now we're gonna show it on the other side because we always wanna do our yoga poses on both sides of our body. So take your other foot, slide your heel over, go ahead and bring your hands to heart center, open up your branches, and if you're ready to challenge yourself, go ahead and challenge yourself for your tree pose. Well, Nuts is getting ready to swing down from the tree and get the peanut butter treats. So we're gonna come up high and then we're gonna count to three and we're gonna swing one way. One, two, three, swing. Then we're gonna swing the other way. Right as he's coming down, come back down to hero pose. Bub was ready. Now Bub was supposed to be holding the hose, doing a job but he could not let Nuts the squirrel get the peanut butter treats. So he decided to let the hose go and he stopped Nuts. But once he let the hose go, it was a gigantic mess. Everybody got soaked and the puppies were not clean. And the owner came back and they decided that they needed to close their pet wash down, that they really didn't come up with the best plan and it wasn't working. Well, they were sad about it, but the owner came back 
and they asked if they could have one more chance, if they could come back tomorrow, because Bella heard the owner say she had just taken her car through the car wash, and that gave Bella an idea, a car wash. So that night, when Bella went to sleep, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna lay down in our pretend bed again. So I want you to lay all the way down. So when Bella was sleeping, she was thinking of a plan that had to do with a car wash. I wonder if you're thinking of the same plan, but they're not going to be washing cars. All right, it's time for us to wake up again. We're going to go into candlestick pose and then we're going to try coming up again. And maybe this time you'll come up and you'll be able to come up with one big movement. Nice work. All right, friends, we're going to stand in a mountain pose as we get ready to see Bella's great idea. She decides they're going to make a pet wash like a car wash so that the pets can just move right through it and they don't have to sit in the water for a long time. So they get all of their supplies ready and they have to build it. So we're going to build our pet wash. So first, we're going to bring our legs wide and we're going to come all the way down. This is called goddess pose. So they take big pipes and then they take big foam when they're like the pool noodles and they come around and down. So they make like a tunnel and the animals are going to go right through. So they do this all along the grass area and then they set up sections where the hose will come out. So we're going to show hose. Bring your hands together straight back. And first the hose is going to get them all wet. So we're going to make a spraying sound. Come down. And the next part, they need to get washed. So we're going to do scrubbing. So a little squat, kind of like the goddess pose, except we're going to scrub, 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 scrub. So the animals get scrub, 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 scrub. Then they had to set up the drying with a bunch of blow dryers. So we're going to use our breath to do drying. So go ahead and bring in your breath through your nose. Close your mouth. And then get your drying. So they had a great plan. And they asked the customer to come back who had the basket, the litter of puppies. So let's see if it works. Come down to hero pose. So first they have Luna go through. She had it inside the pet washer. So Jack sprayed her with the soap, the pet washer scrubbed and rinsed her, and Bella helped work the hair dryers. Bub decided to stay on the treat watch to make sure nuts did not come back to get those peanut butter treats. Well, they put their sign back up. They were excited that this was gonna work. This was gonna be the new plan. So the puppies came back and they decided to put the puppies on Luna's back. And Luna was gonna take the puppies through the pet wash, car wash. So we're gonna show downward dog one more time. First, we're gonna show table pose because that's kind of what Luna was doing, Luna looked like a table, a moving table, because the puppies were on Luna's back. And remember, Luna's a dog, and Luna is Bub's best friend. So now we're going to downward dog. Curl your toes, come back, and Luna went through carefully, so go carefully, lift carefully, because all the puppies are on Luna's back. And as they went through, they were sprayed and scrubbed and dried. <gasps> Let me hear your breath. Breathe in through your nose. Go ahead and put your knees down. Come back into hero pose. And they came through looking so clean. They smelled wonderful. And the owner came back and was so happy. She paid for the pet wash. So that inspired, that motivated them to keep doing it. And they had a lot of customers and they raised a lot of money so they could go buy treats for the animals at the shelter. 
So they went to the store and they rode their skateboard. So we get to do warrior pose, which I love for skateboard. So for warrior pose, we're gonna have one foot leg forward. The other one is facing the other way. Put your arms out and we're on our skateboard. So this is our warrior two. So they go to the store, they ride their skateboards. We're gonna go ahead and switch to the other side. And they buy a lot of treats and then they're headed to the pet shelter. So show me our shelter pose, which is house pose because that's what the pet shelter is. It's a type of house, a building. They get there and they go through the door. So let's see if we can do our door pose again, but this time maybe you'll do it even straighter and maybe you'll have your leg out, your arm here, this arm up, and you're gonna show your door pose amazingly. And now they have to close the door behind them or their animals will escape. So go ahead and show closing the door. So they go in and the first pet they see is the kitty. So let's show our cat pose again. Your best cat pose, go ahead and bring up your stomach, look through your legs. You're curving your back, or we can say arch. Meow, meow, and the kitty is so excited to see them. Meow. They come back down to hero pose. So they go in and they give all of the animals the treats, the toys, and they find out that the kitty is being adopted. That means another family is gonna take care of the kitty. Well, Bella and Bob and Jack and Luna were feeling so happy. They spent all afternoon playing with the pets. Some of the pets like to lay on their back and play with the toys. So we're gonna show that pose again where we lay on our back. This time, we're going to pretend that we're holding the toy and you can go from side to side. It's a nice way to massage your back. And if you want to grab your ankles. So sometimes the kitties like to play like this. Even dogs like to play like this too, where they lay on their back and they play with their toy. All right, we're going to go ahead and put our knees down and we're going to get ready for our rest, our Shavasana. So all of their hearts were feeling so happy, they were able to raise money to buy the toys for the shelter. So they were problem solvers. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our knees down and we're gonna practice some breathing as we finish up our yoga session. So put your hands on your stomach and when we practice our breathing, it's important that you remember to close your mouth and breathe in through your nose. My belly filled with air like a big balloon. Now I'm gonna let all the air out of my mouth. And I did it nice and slowly. Yoga breathing is slow, it's a practice special kind of breathing. Let's close our mouth and inhale. That means breathe in through our nose. Now open up your mouth and exhale. Let the air out. If you're ever feeling sad or angry or upset, you can use your yoga breathing. It's okay to stop and take deep breaths. Even if you're standing up, you can still Stand and put your hands on your stomach. Breathe in through your nose and out of your mouth. All right, friends, we're going to bring up our knees. And then we're going to go ahead and bring our legs up, making little circles with our ankles. Then we're going to bring them in and give them a big hug. Gently rock from side to side. And when you're, you are ready, we will roll over to one side and use your yoga pillow, which is your arm. As we finish up our rest, we're thinking about that it was so nice for them to do a good deed. 
to be a problem solver. And they made people happy. They made the animals happy. They made themselves happy. We're going to go ahead and bring up our elbow. We have one straight arm. Now we're going to have two straight arms. From here, we're going to bring this arm up, but go back into our sit pose, but keep stretching. And then we're going to go back this way. And then our hands go up in the air, and we're going to make little circles with our wrists. Now here's a challenge. Let's see who can bring their hands together without making a sound. Nice job. Roll your shoulders back. If you'd like to close your eyes, then we'll end our yoga with the same way that we began. Here we go. One, two, three, namaste. And that means the light in me sees the beautiful, amazing light in you. Your light shines so bright when you make good choices. You're kind to others. You listen to your teachers and your parents. And you do the best job that you can do, trying to be the nicest and kindest. Friends, thank you so much for having me in your school, even though I'm not actually there, but through a computer, we can do so many neat things. And I would like to show you the book one more time so you can see the cover. And I would like to thank you for having me. So I hope you have a wonderful day. And remember, kindness is so important. Bye, Wilcox.